Dangler. Hey, nigga, step back. Most of y'all thoughts ain't even intact. Ever got kicked out the crib, then snap. Just get snack, nigga, gotta move pack. You know, get cold when sleeping in the trap. Damn, I'm gonna speak the truth and facts. Frank do a lot in the pool when he rap. Cause I be the shit and y'all just crap. 7 11. What is good guys, this is Way B Man the Killer. I'm here with another video for you guys. So as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, yes, Vegeta Super Saiyan God has been announced for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. You know, I find it amazing that despite this game being three years old, that it is still getting enormous support from Bandai. So that's awesome. Um, even though I feel like some of these characters that have been announced over, you know, some of the course of the time uh, when the game was really just like popping, popping a couple years back, that we should have got early in the game. But hey, we get them. So you can't really complain, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're, uh, you know, Vegeta's been announced. So um, he will be coming out sometime in June, if you wonder what time frame. He's in June of 2019. There's no specific date, but I'm pretty sure when it gets close to the time, they're going to announce it. And I'm pretty sure they're going to, uh, Bonnet's going to show some gameplay of him and what he's capable of and everything. So when that comes out, I definitely will let you guys, uh, end on the note about that and get that out to you guys as soon as I can. Um, so yeah. Now, as far as the transformation, what is it, what is it, uh, based off? So what I was able to find. This transformation is a lot different from Super Saiyan Blue, of course, despite the colors, we're talking about style play. Now, this one is mostly focusing on predicting an opponent's attacks as well as dodging them uh, as much as possible to avoid the most damage. Now, wondering, that kind of sounds familiar, it's kind of similar to the uh, Goku Ultra Instinct transformation. Now, as far as... Um, Comparing that to the blue form, the blue form is mostly just focusing on offensive abilities, more of an aggressive uh, style of, or technique, as you would say, uh, just just going in, just being offensive, just relying on brute strength. So these the, the two transformations are completely different. So and in other words, Vegeta, this version of Vegeta is going to be a most, mostly a defensive Vegeta. So he might have moves that might. Uh, kind of signature his defensive style in this game with a sprinkle of some private old moves or we might get a move or two they might be a little different to signature the style we don't know until we see gameplay i'm just i'm just speculating at this point now vegeta super saiyan god vegeta did not really get popularity to just the, to really the movie the broly super dragon ball movie, movie. <laughs> what kind of shit is that <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, but I do, I know originally he was in the manga because the manga, uh, is a little bit more, uh, detailed with the Dragon Ball, Super Dragon Ball story. So, um, but, you know, everybody don't have a lot of time to see, to read the manga. So, you know, the anime is probably the closest thing to, you know, being up with the story. But yeah, um, a lot of people thought that he didn't really have the transformation, but we didn't, it wasn't really confirmed until the size of people who actually read the manga, um, knew that you know he early, he learned it early on and he was still learning even with even with Goku but um yeah he yeah, he know he learned the transformation and everything it, it wasn't confirmed to the movie that he actually did now in most cases it's always been that Vegeta always skipped the transformation compared to Goku who had to always take an extra step to get to you know his highest strength limits so in this case it has been confirmed and it's canon that both of them both on paper and on screen that Vegeta knows Super Saiyan guy and so and blue so does Goku all right so um really curious to see how he's gonna play I uh, want to know what his moves gonna be I can't wait to the gameplay or when they do a showcase of it some shape or form a trailer live stream whatever and see what goes from there right so without further ado hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts about uh super saiyan guy uh vegeta being on the roster are you excited for him are you not um do you still play universe 2 even nowadays and everything um how's it is because i haven't really played in a while um i do have a series that i used to do uh, i still am trying to do it i'm just in the works of getting some uh stuff done for the the art and stuff like that for it and as soon as i get that i can get back to doing it but uh, i did a series uh, some of you may know it's called ren if you want to check that out i will have a card on that if you want to check it out as well it was a really cool series i, I actually still like doing it i have ideas and stuff that i want to do i just need to get everything back in full circle and stuff like that but um yeah just, just let's have to throw that out real quick 
And um, yeah, you know, are you shake for him? Are you not? Um, you still plays Universe Two, anything like that? Do you still think this game deserves any more extra support? You know, any DLC characters or new content? Let me know down in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation about that. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you know I am on the road to 1K. And on that note, peace out. Love you guys. Can't win the bag, yeah, the rebels, nigga, we the fucking best Y'all don't want it, y'all can't want it Y'all shouldn't want it, we the worst want it Got so much saying, got so many problems Got so many haters, they the motivators I'm a cake chaser, not a whole chase I'm a money maker